Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about the differences between the standard Wi-Fi bird box camera and the long-range wireless bird box camera. I also will give you my recommendation which camera to pick based on the setup scenario. One misconcept people have is the long-range wireless bird box camera use this large antenna and the standard Wi-Fi bird box camera uses a small antenna, but that's not true. The standard Wi-Fi bird box camera has this large antenna included in the package. This standard Wi-Fi bird box camera comes with a small antenna and a large antenna. So the, the antenna is not the differences between these two cameras. But one thing I want to point out is we cannot exchange these two antennas because we are using the different connector type. One is the male type, another is the female type. We did it on purpose. I will explain why just a bit. The standard Wi-Fi bird box camera is implemented with this common wireless technology. Just like the Wi-Fi signal we are using on a mobile phone, computer, smart TV, they are all using the standard Wi-Fi signal. The frequencies stay between the 2.4 GHz to 5.6 GHz. But the long-range wireless bird box camera is implemented with a lower frequency, the frequency between 800 to 900 Hz. This is the basic principle of the wireless technology. Increasing the Wi-Fi can achieve the higher bandwidth, but it will shorten the distance. That's why 5.6 GHz Wi-Fi has a larger bandwidth than 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi, but the distance is shorter. We do it from the opposite direction, we reduce the frequency to 800-900 Hz to build this long-range wireless bird box camera. It gives us up to 150 meters transmission distance in the open area. But now, this camera cannot be connected to our home Wi-Fi directory since the frequency is different. It needs to work with this receiver. The camera will send the signal to this receiver, and the receiver will output the standard network signal. Without talking too much, I think it's better for me to give you an overview how to connect both cameras to the network to understand the differences. This is the standard Wi-Fi bird box camera. Let's pretend this is the modem or router which provides the Wi-Fi signal in the air. Now let's connect this Wi-Fi bird box camera to the Wi-Fi signal in the air. One thing I want to point out, this camera doesn't have the batteries built in. It still needs to provide the power to this camera and connect this power adapter to an AC outlet nearby. Then use the edge to manage to connect this camera to our Wi-Fi signal. So this camera needs to know the Wi-Fi password before it can access our network. One thing is crucial is we need to check the Wi-Fi signal around the air place we are going to set up the bird box and the camera since this camera highly depends on the Wi-Fi signal in our house to upload the video to the network. But let's talk about the long-range wireless bird box camera. We still need to provide the power to the camera since also no battery built into this camera. But this camera doesn't connect to our home Wi-Fi to upload the video. If you work with this receiver and send the video to this receiver, we will use a short patch code to link this receiver to our one of the Ethernet port on our modem or router. You realize the whole setup doesn't rely on our Wi-Fi signal, right? The camera doesn't need to know our Wi-Fi password. It doesn't even care what kind of Wi-Fi network you have. Even you don't have the Wi-Fi network, it still can upload the video to the network as long as you are network port. So here's my recommendation. If the Wi-Fi signal is good around the place where you're going to set up the bird box and camera, use the standard Wi-Fi bird box camera. So the camera can take the Wi-Fi signal in the air to upload the video. However, if the signal is poor, either you need to improve the Wi-Fi coverage around the bird box or you can use this long-range wireless bird box camera. There's one more scenario you may use this long-range wireless bird box camera if your Wi-Fi network is quite unique. For example, it's shot down the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi, it's the mesh network doesn't support 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi, you can use this long-range wireless bird box camera because it never uses your home Wi-Fi to upload a video.
All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please leave a message in the comment section below.